pleasure. What is the idea of pleasure to you? And are you getting pleasure from your sexual encounters? Do they feel good? Are you experiencing joy from them? Or are you experiencing pain or frustration? You see, sex should be pleasant, but for some people, it isn't. For some people, sex can be very unpleasant. And the idea of engaging in unpleasant sex only makes it more difficult for you to engage in it again. So this idea of pleasure is very important because sometimes we don't realize that we're trying to please somebody else, you know, sexually, and then we're not gaining any pleasure out of the experience. And this is where your body remembers that it was an unpleasant experience. This is how you're training your body to associate sex with an unpleasant feeling instead of a pleasant feeling. Pleasure is important in all aspects of being sexual with someone. Now, it doesn't matter how you receive this pleasure because everybody is different in the way they receive it, but the idea is, do you feel pleasure? And this pleasure is what drives you to come back time and time again. So let's say, for instance, you're in a relationship where one person is having an orgasm and you are not. Each and every time you're in this sexual situation, you are not having an orgasm, you are not feeling pleasure, and you're doing it because you want to make the other person happy. But in the end, it just backfires because it's teaching your body and your brain that you are in an unpleasant situation. So how do you get out of this? How do you understand that sex intimacy is supposed to be pleasant? It's about taking the time to give pleasure to yourself. So I always say everybody is responsible for their own pleasure. And this is true. If you're in a situation and you're not finding pleasure, then it is your responsibility to figure out a way to make it feel good. So let's say that you're in a long-term relationship and sex for you has become unpleasant. Now we can look to the other person and blame it on them, but the reality is you have to figure out why is it unpleasant? What is going on where it doesn't feel good any longer? And how do you figure out how to make it a better situation for yourself? Because the longer you stay in it, the more it's going to continue to be unpleasant. So some of the things that you can do if you're having unpleasant sex is try to masturbate and feel what it feels like to have an orgasm. Take the time to meditate, feel your body, uh, become in touch with your body. Search out information on ways that can help you feel better about yourself. If you're experiencing pain, go get help for that pain. If you have a lack of desire, go get your hormones checked or figure out why are you having lack of desire? Why are you no longer wanting to be intimate? And why are you in a situation where you're feeling unpleasantness when you're with somebody that you're having sex with? All of these things are about you taking care of yourself. And this is instrumental for your health, for not only your sexual health, but for your well-being, for how you function every day, how you feel about yourself. All this is so important because when it comes back to it, sex is supposed to be a pleasurable experience. And if it's not, then you shouldn't be doing it. I believe everyone deserves to have a healthy sex life, and so do you. Please leave your comment, give me a thumbs up if you like the video, and of course, subscribe to my channel.